friends and welcome to another journal with me session. So I wanted to kind of show you where we're at so far um, with the February bundle. So the February bundle is available. It's up in the shop. If you haven't seen it yet, it is true crime and it is absolutely fantastic. And I don't have a ton of them left because uh, they kind of people started buying them as soon as they went live on the first. And it is now the sixth, like almost the seventh. So there's probably a handful of them left with the actual journal and the uh, books, the sticker books. So anyway, this is where I'm at so far. So I've already, I took the vellum and this is what I made for like the opening page on the vellum. And I put February, 2023 with the murder thing in the middle. And then here is the calendar all worked out. Remember I said like for doing it big wise, it fits perfectly. Absolutely love, love, love this. I used the washi tape. So we've got the washi tape here, some of the stickers that came in the pack and the other February. And then I put the little heart, the empty heart there on Valentine's Day. Then um, this page was super fun to do. So this is my plan for February. So these came in the bundle. There's a podcast tracker, a television tracker, and a book tracker. And these are all ones that I doodled up myself. So for my podcast tracker, I wrote down the podcasts that I'm listening to. So I'm listening to The Last of Us. That is the HBO one. And then I'm listening to Binge Mode because I restarted the uh, Marvel series with Binge Mode. And then that chapter. So the Criminal has a podcast and that chapter has a podcast. So New Rock Stars is a YouTube channel. This one is also a YouTube channel, plus he has a podcast. So these are all ones that I have little boxes next to them so I can check them off as I go. And then I have them written in here, all of the podcasts inside of the little bubbles. Then for the TV, I put Binge Watch at the top and these are some of the washi strips from the kit. This is also in the kit. This all Everything in here is inside of that kit. So if it's on these pages, it's nothing extra that I pulled in. This is stuff that's actually in the true crime bundle. So here's the shows that I'm watching. Um, HBO is the last of us, uh, lots and lots of MMA this month because there's a lot of really good fights coming out. Then I've got the Witcher blood origin. Don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to give it a try because I love the Witcher, even though I know it's not have anything to do with the Witcher. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but I want to try it because, um, it, I just don't have a ton of stuff to watch this month. And I like having stuff like that on uh, glass onion. This is one of the, the second part to the knives out on Netflix. I love knives out. So hopefully that'll be good. And then just says television tracker at the bottom. And then I wrote them in here as well. So there's that. And then on this page is week one. So we're all the way through week one. I did put some of the stuff. So week one started on a Wednesday. I did put some of the stuff that I'm doing on these two days so that I could go ahead and film and this wasn't a blank page. But these are the things um, for the 6th and the 7th that I already know are going to happen because today, well, today is the 6th, but um, for the 7th, I already know what's going on on the 7th. So I just put a little bit of stuff here. So this was the way that I laid this one out and I thought this was super, super fun. So on the side, I've got trackers, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I've got social media stuff. I've got sleep. I've got a sleep tracker for every day for the sleep. Look at, I already pre-planned Tuesday to sleep in. So there it is. I put it in here. It's got to happen now, right? Vitamins and my fasting days. So um, Monday is a freebie because I'll be out with one of my friends. And we're going to be shopping and eating. And then I'm going to see my daughter. So I'm going to be eating out. So that's not going to be a good day for fasting. But... Um, all the other days I'm going to do it. So, and then this is just kind of what happened all the days with all of the little extras goodies in here. And then I used all of my, um, my midliners to kind of put the dots in there. So that is the week, the first week of February. Then this is going to be so fun. So here's the book one. So you've got the book tracker here where I can write. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put what book I'm starting, um, when I finish reading it, and then I can give it a a grade basically there's a little synopsis area of where I'm going to write down what book I'm reading in February and then in here I thought what I would do is put some of my favorite chapters so as I'm reading if I really love the chapter I'll put the chapter number or the chapter name depending on how much space because there's a lot of space here for you to write the the number and then the name right underneath it and then these are all stuff that I doodled up because um yeah I was in a doodling mood then for February here these are inside of the bundle these are all the um, journaling prompts. So I made spaces using the journaling kit for true crime journaling kit and some of the extras. So you'll see in here, like this is some of the big stickers are in here, all kinds of stuff. So for each one of these, I made a left space so that I could answer them. And then 
I didn't mean to go that far, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so a recent compliment, and then you can write it in here. My biggest victory. There's the last book I read. So this means the last book I read, meaning if it's the very last book you could ever read, what would it be? Three things I'm proud of and why. An outfit that makes me happy. This would be pajamas. <laughs> then the songs in my life soundtrack. So, so songs that I think are basically me. Um, something I've learned from a mistake, my favorite color and what it reminds me of. And then those are all the journaling prompts. So you can totally use like the journaling kit that comes in there for, to make all of these fun pages so that throughout the month of February, you can fill these out. Um, and then I was doodling. So I doodled. I had two extra pages before I hit the mood tracker that we did. This was the blue prompt and I did it for February. So here's the mood, work and sleep tracker. And then I had a couple of pages, so I just started doodling up some kawaii stuff, which I thought was super, super cute. And I was trying out a new pen that I got. So I got a new pen, this one, at Barnes & Noble. So it's Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner, and it's a .03. So I was trying it out, and this is what it looks like right here. It does bleed through, though, so you have to be careful. And then this is where we're going to be right now. So the word for this week's journaling prompt for the challenge is love. It can be things that you love, people you love, um, foods that you love, anything love related. It could be Valentine's Day. It could be all kinds of different things, anniversaries, birthdays. You can do whatever you want as long as it's themed around love. So I thought it would be kind of fun. I already penciled it out because otherwise we'd be sitting here all day with me trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. So I already penciled it out and then I'm going to speed through writing with my pit pen to darken it up so that you can see it all and then we will fill it out. I also have off to the side, I've got a black gel pen in case I need it. I have this one is called a stardust pen and it's like a sparkly pen that goes over. These are all gel pens. I've got a red gel pen. This one my friend gave me. I thought it'd be super cute. And then I've got a white gel pen. I don't know if I'll need the white gel pen, but that's mostly for like making mistakes. So you can just kind of go over it and make the mistake go away. So I'm going to start just filling all these in and then I will be back once I have it all filled out. I know you can probably see it, but not as well as you will once I have it all done. So just hang on and I will get right to it. Okay, so I have everything all drawn out and I use the pen, the black pen only. And I thought it would be kind of cute to do like something like this where you have all these like little notepads all the way around that you can just jot the little notes on. So it's things I love about me and my little world. So it could be like something about my personality that I like. Um, it's basically just one of those positive affirmation type pages, which is something I think we all need is just to kind of take a look at ourselves and decide, you know, just tell all the, go the good things, like all the nice things, all the good things um, that you really, really love about yourself. So this page right here, I just wanted to keep it here to show you. Um, so this was when, when we did this, I used some markers that I probably shouldn't have used and they bled through pretty badly because these are some cheapo, what are these called? Free color spot. So these are cheapo ones that I got off of Amazon. I got a whole crap ton of them and they are way, way, way saturated. So when you use those on this type of paper, they just go right through. So um, I'm going to stick with midliners for this um, because I don't want it to bleed through like it did with these. But anyway, so to cover that up, I took one of my cute little cards, some washi and some stickers and just kind of made a cute page so that I have something fun to look at and then the things that I love next to it. But he is just like <laughs> glaring everywhere. So I'm going to put something over it. Just wanted to show it to you before so that you can see what kind of stuff you can do with a page that you may have, especially if you like to use um, like watercolors or any types of paints or anything. Sometimes you might need to put two pages together in order to make them thicker so that you can do what you want with your mixed media, or you'll have to take a page and do something like, like I did here, where you just cover up where it goes through. But there's so many, so many different ways to do that. And anybody that's done journaling for any length of time knows that your pages are gonna get messed up. Like some of the ones in the back, especially if you're mixed media, are going to get messed up. So I made a little list of some of the things that I wanted to put in here, but I also want to decorate it. And this came in the mail <laughs> and it's so sticky cute. So I got my Hubman and Chub Girl. So I ordered their Valentine's Day pack. And even though a lot of this I can't use in here, but look at how stinking adorable these are. So obviously I can't use these giant things, but how cute would that be? I love you, but I didn't leave room for it, so we can't do that one. But 
anyway, there's like a whole bunch of stickers and sticker packs in here and all kinds of stuff. So these are all things that I'll probably use on another journaling page, but there are some of these tiny ones. It says, I love you, be mine, love. And then it's got like the love notes. So there are some stuff that we can use to decorate this page that are really, really cute. These are probably too big. Maybe the tiny hearts, ooh, the tiny hearts and the XOXOs will work, but how stinking adorable is this? So I'm gonna keep this off to the side because we might use this in our in our little thing here. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna start writing down some of the stuff. So very first off the top, because it's really small um, thing, but it's probably the most important thing in my life is my family. So I'm just gonna put my family here. And then there's like a checkbox one. So you can do like a whole bunch of smaller ones like friendships or just friends if you write like a big giant person like I do. So um, I love my stickers. <laughs> um, I love to doodle, as you can probably already tell. Um, I, I really love my office, <laughs> like it's my home away from home. So my office, um, uh, I'll fill, I'll finish filling that one out after because those are like little one, one liners and stuff. But one of the other things is I love, I'll put it here, how I handle stress. I see my friends and my family and I see how they stress out. How I handle stress, oops, spelling, spelling, it's not two E's in stress, stress in my life. Anyways, not, not saying that, you know, everybody's ability to handle stress is going to be different, but I'm really glad that mine is the way that it is because some of their, the ways that my friends and families deal with stress is like, it's exhausting. It's just exhausting to me. Um, I love, 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 love my amazing hubby. 27 years And still awesome. There. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that because then his head will get all big and it'll be a whole nother thing. So um, one of the other things, oh, I could put this here. We'll just start making it go down because I'm not going to be able to fit this. I really like my creativity. Creativity. I feel like my brain is never off. Like I always have some crazy idea that sometimes I do. And sometimes luckily I have a husband to put the brakes on and tell me not now, wait, don't do that right this second. But you know, I, I, I really like that. I have a lot of ideas and I'm never really lacking for them. So I, I think that's a good quality to have. Um, drawing everyday things and making them super cute. <laughs> everyday things and making them super cute so there's that what else I can tell you a heck of a lot. See, this is a lot harder than putting things that you don't like about yourself. <laughs> like that is much easier to do. So how about my attitude? My we can do it attitude, which is absolutely the opposite of my husband. He's, he's the glass is half empty, I'm the glass is half full, which you need that balance because I can tell you right now that if I went full ham on all the things that I think we can do, we would probably be living in a cardboard box somewhere. So <laughs> there's that. And then how about my desire to try new things? Hmm. 
my desire to try new things even when I fail but that's not gonna fit let me see maybe I can make it smaller even when I fail which I do quite often and I got room for a couple more but I'm not really sure what I want to put there yet what else do I love about me uh, in my little world I don't know <laughs> to be honest it's really hard to think of things like off the top of your head how about how about my home my home and living up north not a lot of people can say that about where they live being something that they love. I'm really glad that we moved up here and I'm super, super happy. And hopefully hubby will continue to be happy up here because um, where he goes, I go. And well, he followed me up here. It would be only fair for me to follow him away if he decided he didn't like it anymore. And then for the last one, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it blank because you guys will be sitting here all day with me trying to figure this out. So I do have my little pens here and I wanted to try out this red glitter ones. My friend Amy gave me this red glitter pen, which is adorable. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. So I'm going to fill in all the little hearts with my little red glitter pen. It's, come on, let me do that. You got to work. You got to work for me. This one. And then if I, I was going to put like hearts everywhere, but I think I'm going to use the little heart stickers that are in that little pack right there because I think those would be really cute. But we can also, I don't think I can do, uh, I wish I had more of these. <clears throat> so I am working on getting more of these. I'm ordering them for the shop, the um, jelly roll pens in the different colors. And this guy is just wanting to not work. He's been sitting for too long. I used to use this in my card making when I would do like something and then I would go over the top of it, but I feel like he's just like done. So this is the Stardust, which I know you probably can't see it on the, on the camera, but it's <laughs> super, super glittery, super glittery. And then when it comes to like stuff like this, we can definitely decorate these. And how we decorate these is taking well, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Let's do this one. We can make like little, this one can have like little bubble circles. So it's like little washi tapes. Like that. We have more of these. This one I made like little, little stripes across it because I messed up. <laughs> so that was my way of fixing that. We're going to put a heart in this one. And then this one will do some sideways stripes. We can come back through here, which I probably will, and then I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it um, with my midliners and kind of do some more colorful stuff in here. So that way it'll be all, you know, cute looking. And then also I will darken up everything that's in here with my pens so that you can see all the writing. But I don't really like my handwriting in a lot of these, so I might like erase it and then draw, you know, handwrite a little bit better. But until then, we definitely have some of these which we can put down, which this is cute. We're going to put this one right here because I think that's adorable. Of course, I have to have the coffee because why wouldn't we put the coffee down? And this one is going to go right here for hubby. <laughs> that's so cute. I really love these in here. I think these are perfect. Um, the jar of hearts, which is adorable. I think we're going to put that right here. And then I think that's it for that one. Oh, we also have this coffee too. What's this one? We're going to put this one down somewhere. Let's put this one here. When we fill that out, it'll be, I can put that. I love coffee. How about, mm, no. I love the little love letters in here. And then here, this one, let's see, we want it facing this way. 
I like how she does this where she has them, you know, like facing in two different directions so that you can use them like this. So you can use it on this side or on that side. So love you next to the family one. And then we've got all these little hearts. I'm going to start using these because this will make life easier for my fingers. So I'm going to put these little hearts are going all over the place. Anyway, so if you are part of the journaling challenge, this is the challenge. So the word is love, and I need you to just go and do something, anything that you want with love, because I think this is a really good one for this week. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I just I just really liked this, this one. Um, next week will be Brandy, and then we're going to have a free week. So we're not going to do the uh, fourth week in this month. I need another one. I want this one to have some color to it. So like this, um, because it's, it's kind of one of those, cause it's only 28 days. And I want to make sure that we have plenty of time for people to do the challenges and upload their pictures so that you guys will get, you know, I'll be able to draw names and things won't get dragged out into the next month. So I think we're going to use this one cause this one's cute. This little male one. <laughs> That's adorable. Right there. Oh, okay, so that's it. Um, I'm going to finish like coloring things in and, and darkening it up and then I will take a picture of it and I will add it to the end of this video so that you can see it all finished. So thank you guys so much. Like I said, make sure that you join in. Join our Facebook group. Join in on the on the challenge. I drew two $25 winners last month. I will draw a winner this month depending on how many people. The more people that upload, the more prizes I will draw. So if there's only a few people that upload this month, then there'll only be one prize drawn. If you have a lot like we did last month, then I will do two. So anyway, hopefully you guys um, get a little bit of inspiration from this. Remember, it's really, really important to do positive affirmations. It really, really helps with your overall outlook on things, especially if you're feeling down. Uh, and yeah, hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas on some stuff that you can do with our theme this month. I mean, word for this week. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. My word for this week, which is love. Anyways, have a fantastic day and I will see you again on the next one. Bye.